Hey guys, can you believe this whole thing is equal to one? Let's verify it. First, I wanna leave this alone, so let's make a copy of it down here. And let's handle it one fraction at a time. Let's do this one first. In order to get rid of the radical in the denominator, I'm gonna to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. All we do is copy these two terms, but change the plus to a minus. On top is just gonna be one times this, so we're just gonna be left with root one minus root two. And the square root of one is equal to one. And on bottom, we can use the notes for the difference of two squares. So we know that the root a plus root c times root a minus root c is just a minus c. And we can see here that a is 1 and c is 2. So on bottom, we're going to have 1 minus 2. And we can clean up 1 minus 2 to give us negative 1. To get rid of this negative 1 in the denominator, we can multiply top and bottom by negative 1. This negative is going to distribute to both of these, making it a negative 1 and a positive root 2. And on bottom, negative 1 times negative 1 is just positive 1. And since we have a 1 in the denominator, we don't need it anymore. All of this right here is simplified into negative 1 plus root 2. In fact, we don't even need this red stuff. This first fraction fraction simplified into negative 1 plus root 2. So now let's focus on this next fraction. We're going to do the same thing, multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. On top, we're just going to have the root 2 minus root 3. And on bottom, we're going to use these notes again. But in this case, a is 2 and c is 3. So on bottom, we're going to have the a minus c, which is 2 minus 3. And then 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 1. And we can divide both these top terms by negative 1, making this first one negative and the second one positive. So we have negative root 2 plus root 3. And we can smush these together. And that takes care of this second fraction. Fraction. Now let's focus on this third one. Multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. The top is just going to be root 3 minus root 4. And the bottom, we're going to use these notes one more time, where a is equal to 3 and c is equal to 4. So a minus c is going to be 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4 is equal to negative 1. These terms divided by negative 1 will make the first one negative and the second one positive. We don't need the 1 anymore, and we can smush this together. So now we have this expression right here. This positive root 2 and negative root 2 can cancel each other out. And this positive root 3 and negative root 3 can also cancel each other out. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Let's bring this down here. Negative 1 plus 2 is equal to positive 1. And that means that this original crazy expression is equal to 1. And we could put a box around it. How exciting.